Hello everyone, welcome back. So today, this is the bag we'll be making. It is a two-toned mini bag, and the material used here is double-faced leather. So we are going to start with the front and the back. So for the bar front, it will be seven by five. The length is five, and the width is seven inch. So we are cutting two. This is the side five by three inch since our length is five so for the base now we are using six by three inch for the base so let me show you how we get the six inch so this arc shape that we use for the side so we are going to go in by half inch half inch on both sides of the three inch I'm going by half inch on the five inch length. So, you know, I said the side is five by three inch. So, for the base now, it will be addition of that to half inch. That will give us one inch. And you know, our width is seven inch. So, that will be seven, the width minus one inch the one inch that we had and that will give us six inch so for now our base will be six by three the width of the side let's assume we use one one inch instead of a half inch let's assume we use one one inch and so definitely we know that one plus one is two so it is that two that will remove from anything our width is for this one our width is seven so it will be five our base now will now be five but for the bag we are doing our base will be six inch now so if it is that five our base will be three by five inch So let's assume the body, the width of our body is 9 inch. Let's assume it's 9 and our side is 6 by 4 inch. 6 by 4 inch. And we move half half inch like that. So we know that definitely our base will be 9 inch minus 1 inch. So our base will be 8 by 4. Like that. I think you will have get it now. So that's how to calculate that up shape. You can see this 7, the half half inch that we remove from the side. So for our flap this will be five by three inch and for what we used to hold the two handles together this five and a half by one inch for the short handle 15 by one and a half two of it the long strap will be I use 43 here, but you can use any measurement you like. 43 by 1 inch is what I use here. So these are sets we will be using. These are magnetic snap. It has stored on it. This is the pin. I call it pressing pin. And that's what I am going to use. Or USA, you can call it USA button. These are the tools we are going to use for heat. And these are dang. So to the sewing part, we start with our handle. But before we get the handle, let's mark out where the handle will start from. I'm going to measure 1.5 inch from down part. The center of our seven is 3.5 inch. So from the marked part, we measure it to the edge of the so that will be 3.5. So it is that 3.5 that we are going to remove from the 15 inch. 
and then we start from the 3.5 inch to the other 3.5 inch so we are going to insert our piping and then we are going to trim the 3.5 inch in such a way that it will remain one inch after trimming so that the handle will not be too wide where you sew it so i'm just going to trim it like that and by the time we are done with the trimming it will remain one inch So from the center that we'll get the other time, we measure two two inch on both sides, two inch here and two inch here. Go to the edge too and measure two two inch. So we are going to. That's why we are going to place our undo. We are going to place it at the middle of the two inch. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side. So this is the back. The flap that is 5 by 3. We're going to shape. Just give it a curve. And then we'll get the center on top. And the back too. We are going to get our center too. Going by zero points, I think it's zero point five inch. Zero point five inch is okay, and then we'll sew it like that. Just so it's straight. So let's remove the half shape. You know, we said half inch, half inch at the other side, and from the down part, we're going by half inch. And then we'll connect it together like that. Yeah, connect it like that. And cut out that shape. And the other side too. So now we're going to take our base. It's not from the edge, from where we cut. It's where our base will start from. We we'll start from one edge here to the half, from the half inch to the other half inch. Join the other side. Yeah, we're supposed to have joined the the ring for our side before we join the base, but we can still do it like this. So the doing we saw it on the two sides, and now we are going to place our handle on the back side. After then, we'll join our sides. You know, our side is five, and the body to the length is five, so definitely they will be the same. You don't have to worry about if it is too long or it will be too short. So, when we reach the edge there, just make sure the edge of the base and the edge of the side they meet and you can revise at that point so now i think they gave us like that was why i was able to complete the rest on the industrial machine and i'm sorry if it is not too clear 
because it is inside so now we are done with the back and we do the same thing for the front too after we are done with the front and the back use my scissors to trim the edges so that they will it will be neat and then now we are going to insert our magnetic snap now I tell the the magnetic snap I use here as plug so we just place it directly from outside you don't have to worry So we're going to use our hammer to press the magnetic, the stud. So now this is our short strap that will join the handle on top. This is our pressing pin. Place it as it should be. And then we are going to use this tool with hammer. To press it and then we use screw to lay the edges very well so for the other side i'm just going to use this only make sure you press it and you make sure it hold each other and so it is ready you can see i place it one at the right side and i place the other one at the wrong side so this is what we have. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you again next time.